Hello, happy Sunday, Hempers. Give you guys just a second to, to jump on here and I'll show you what I'm doing up in the greenhouse today. So, uh, we actually had our CBD clones arrive today and they were delivered and we are actually changing our supplier. Um, while we loved our clones from Tennessee that we used and they obviously produced a fantastic product for us and grew really well. Um, you know, we always preach about staying local. And so this year we got our clones from a Kansas based company. Um, we just continued to, to hear great things about them and, and what they do in their neck of the woods. So we're going to give, a, we did 200 ish plants with them this year. So we're going to see, we're going to see how they do out here in central Kansas compared to up by the Kansas city area where they're at. It is United American hemp. Um, you can Google them. They've got a really nice website. Um, they're very active within the CBD industry and education and just someone that we wanted to, to work with. Um, so let me show you those. They just came on their long car ride. So these are female plants. They've all been rooted down. Probably need to water them a little bit. A little rough not everybody likes the car rides so that is okay and these guys are a little younger um, but but we're excited to get them to get them going and, and showing you how that works so a lot of people that are new to our page or have joined us because we have have about a thousand new people since when we started our grow last season. Um, I love throwing in educational bits about the plants and things like that. Now, a lot of people don't realize that for CBD grows, you want only female plants. All right. Um, female plants are the ones that are going to produce your buds and flowers. Males, their job is to pollinate and then, and then they die. And so once a female has been pollinated, that CBD quantity in the plant actually goes down. Um, so that's why it's really important to make sure you don't have any males in your grow. Well, last year we harvested our plants in our greenhouse. So we had some seeds fall to the ground and some of those survived the winter. And I kind of just let them grow and pop up out of the ground just to um, just watch them, see what they do. And let me show you what those look like. So we got a hole right there right there. This is a really big one. This is one I just pulled out. So anyway, all these will eventually be gone, but, but I love using them for instances like this when I can talk to you about males and females. So like I said, females are the most ideal plants for CBD production. Now for fiber and grain, you need both males and females so you can get a grain supply. Um, but CBD females only. So if you look at this plant, and I'll show you how to sex the plant. If you actually look right where my fingers are, there's nothing there. And so that, this is a female. There's actually a little, um, it's almost like a little piston. And that's going to help you. Um, that's going to eventually be a bud that is there. So here's a male. I pulled it out. Let me show you the difference. You see how there's little sacks here? They're just basically male balls. That's exactly what they are. That's how you know these are male plants. They have these little sacks that eventually the males will shoot up and they'll be taller than the females and then these sacks will burst and then that's how they pollinate, pollinate and make little hemp seeds. So that's the difference there. Um, very cool plants. These are gorgeous for just growing out of the dirt and not being watered at all, uh, living in the greenhouse all, all winter and they survive that negative 37 temperatures and things like that. So anyway, that's a little bit what we're doing today. We'll plant those later this week. Half will go outside, half will stay here in the greenhouse and we'll just keep right on trucking. So you will see me more this week as we go into the field for our fiber and grain planting. Um, we've got farmers planting throughout the state. So that's really exciting as well. And yeah, we're just keep on keeping on. So hope you have a fantastic Sunday and have a great week ahead.